if you're working for yourself as an entrepreneur or if you're working for somebody else, at the back of your mind, you have the dictum that time is money. That creates a sense of urgency for you, as it does for most of us. We feel we're not doing enough, we need to do more, we feel the things which we do aren't perhaps valuable enough, they're not getting us the amount of money that they should, and so on and so on. It's a whole culture of definitions and meaning and um, behaviors linked to this thinking. And it's completely, completely wrong. Sure, we're conditioned to think that we exchange X amount of hours of our lives in order to, in order to get uh, X amount of money in recompense. And if we do a rough arithmetic on that, we can say that you know, our hourly rate is so much. But that is completely wrong. Time is, in, is a finite element, it is irreversible, and money isn't actually. And we can always sort of do things to get more money, but we will never be able to do things to get more time. And sure, money can buy you some kind of time, but it doesn't really. What it does is it frees some of the time which you would spend in order to get money, um, which then you can allocate to do different things. So all that money does is it allows you to reevaluate how you spend your time. Why am I saying this? Well, because essentially, sure, you can spend your time working, you can spend your time thinking about work, you can spend your time not being in the moment with friends, relationships, yourself even. But that's a choice you have to consciously make. If you allow it to be made for you by the dictum that time is money and the false certain sense of urgency that this creates, then that is time that is stolen away from you. In order for you to get that time back, you have to think, what is it that you want to achieve with the time you have on this planet? And that is finite for all of us. And there is no guarantee that we will all get to enjoy all that allocated time that we potentially have. Accidents can happen, mishaps can happen, all sorts of things can actually happen which will end that potential timeline before it should be ended, naturally. So, recapping this, if you're thinking about this, and there's a lot to think about here, if you're spending your time, ask yourself, does the time that you actually invest in things um, add meaning to what you do, creates a sense of purpose for which you can feel proud of? Does it give you a true sense of productivity in a sense of the work that you actually do and the actions that you engage in? Does it make you feel valued and valuable? And if the answer to that is no, then you spend your time wrongly and you need to rethink about it. But if the answer is yes, then you need to ask yourself, how can you do more of that? How can you escape the trap of having to spend your time to do things which have no actual value and very little meaning? And if you can answer that, then that is your key to intentional living for sure, but also true wealth and true success. I really hope this helps.